Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a Q&A. I don't know how long you guys have been subscribed to me, but this is really giving me my like old high school vibes whole setup. Kind of crazy, but it feels so good to be back home. I love my filming setup here, except for the fact that I don't have a headboard right now um, because I took it to my school in college. I'm sure literally nobody cares, but for some reason it really bothers me. It just doesn't feel complete, you know? Anyway, today's video is going to be a Q&A. I asked you guys on my Instagram, um, any questions that you had so if you guys want to participate in the next one be sure to follow me over there I've been very active on there um, just making all kinds of fun stories and posting pictures and stuff like that so I have a lot of videos rolling out now that I am home if you didn't know my school's completely moved online so I thought this would be a great time to move back home and just spend time with my family so that is what I am doing I took some screenshots of some things I wanted to answer some questions are pretty juicy and some are just normal questions so with all of that being said, let's get started. So the first question I'm going to answer is, if YouTube doesn't work out, what career path do you want to take? So if you guys did not know, I've always wanted to do YouTube, um, not necessarily as a career. Actually, the first video I ever filmed was with one of my friends and we were so young, it is so cringy, and it was on my brother's laptop, but I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel, and so it's such a blessing that I actually can have one and have it as a job. It's amazing, it's one of my favorite things. I love creating things, I think it is so much fun. I just like documenting my life and just honestly, just encouraging you guys with entertaining stuff and also with um, things that are light in this very, very dark world. If this doesn't work out, I would definitely start a business that has always been a plan of mine, and I have also always wanted to be a stay-at-home mom and so if I could do both of those if I could be a work from home mom or whatever if I have the ability to do that then I would absolutely love that but if YouTube didn't work out I would definitely start a business with probably something with clothing fashion jewelry um, any like lifestyle type of thing whether it's like journals or planners I don't really know exactly what niche I like I also really I just like cute things honestly if it's cute I'm about it home decor all that so that would definitely be the step I would take okay so the next question is tips for surviving long distance if you guys did not know I am in a long distance relationship now that I've moved home it's about four hours three and a half four hours apart which to some people that's not very far to others that is really far I think my biggest tip that I have and this was advice that was given to me and Sam literally like right as we started dating they said be sure to communicate your expectations so whether that's your expectations for that weekend what you guys are gonna do together in anything your expectations for each other in the relationship I have found that that has been very helpful so whether that's if you're gonna have a really busy weekend then be like hey heads up it's gonna be a really busy weekend. And if you are wanting a really chill weekend, then you need to communicate that and say, hey, I've just been busy all week. I would really like to just sit down and maybe not be so busy. I'd like to go to a park today. I would like to do this. Just communicating things I think is really important. And also communicating what you expect when you're apart. You know, like, are we gonna FaceTime every single night? If we do, how long? Not that you have to plan out everything, but if, you expect to have a really, you know, these conversations to be really important to you and then the other person doesn't, you need to communicate those things. And that's just what I have found has been helpful for me and Sam. Whatever that may look like, I will admit I'm really bad at doing that because I don't even realize the expectations I have until they aren't met and then I get upset. Shout out to Sam for being amazing and patient with me. Okay, so the next question is, are you putting out any merch? So I get this question a lot, actually. Um, so one comment down below if you guys would be interested. I'm not talking about like something that has my name all over but I do really love designing things and I have a whole list of things in my phone that I want to put on shirts um, of names of like the company I'd like to make, all sorts of stuff like that. And hopefully after college, I can truly pursue that um, like path of things. I would really enjoy that. I really want to do that. Um, so let me know if you guys would be interested in that. If you guys have any like name ideas, I don't necessarily want my name in the company. Oh, if it goes, maybe. Um, but all the ideas that I have don't have my name in it. So another question is how long have you and your boyfriend been dating? We have been dating 10 months, which is crazy. I was like, what? We've been dating that long, which isn't that long in the grand scheme of things, but I feel like it's still 
has been a new thing to you guys and stuff like that. So it's just kind of crazy how fast time has gone by, but it also feels like it's been forever. <laughs> is college closed? I don't want to get into too many details about it just because I know it's a really touchy subject. I just want you guys to know that I am praying for you guys during this time. I'm praying for all the people that are affected by it, for all the people that have anxiety. I know that I struggle with that. But my thoughts on college being closed is I'm very sad for all the seniors. I know some of my friends were seniors and it's just really weird that like it ended that fast like they're not going to be going to school with me anymore and it just it makes me really sad and I know that it's sad for them that they didn't really get like the kind of like proper goodbye to college. I am not upset that it's online just because I always try to take online classes but I know there are other people that feel totally opposite of that and that is totally fine. I get it. So somebody asked, what's your workout routine? So it's changed a little bit because of everything going on, but I was going to Orange Theory um, with my roommate Reagan, which was amazing. Like We loved it. We went consistently. We didn't miss a class. I mean, it was really, really good. It got me off my butt. It was great, um, and it definitely pushed me, which is what I need. But now that that has changed, and since I'm home, me and my mom have actually been using the Sweat app, so this is not sponsored at all. Um, but it's just an app where I'll pull it up. So it's actually an app where if you pull it up, you can see um, your program. So right now I'm doing the Bikini Body Guide Beginner, and we're just going through that. So you do about three workouts a week and then for two days you do like cardio, I think it is. Um, it can either be low intensity or high intensity. And then I think you have one day of like recovering and you can look on the planner and it will like tell you how many steps you took and then what you're supposed to do. I really enjoy the app because it just shows you like the workouts to do. So I don't wanna show too much because I do know that you have to pay for this and somebody created this so I don't wanna like give away, you know, the things that you're paying for. But I'll just show you one thing. So they show you to do a squat and they show you how to do it, how many to do, which I think is really great. And then they give you alternatives if you need it. And so I've been using that to work out from home. Anyway, if you wanna check that out, I would definitely recommend it if you're trying to be productive during quarantine. So somebody asked how to stay motivated during this crazy time. Well, that is one way to just do something you'd normally do. If you normally work out, then work out. And if you don't normally work out, then now's the time to start it. This is a great time to start your goals. Um, and so if you are, if you have a hard time, whenever you're not like bound by a schedule, then I would make yourself a schedule, wake up at a certain single time every day, have something you do every single day, like whether that's reading your Bible or reading a book or something. Um, and just create a routine for yourself. I think that's very important to do. So that is how I stay motivated and I also have something like this that I enjoy doing and so what I do is I'll like switch up my working on my school doing YouTube, working on my school doing YouTube throughout the day so that way I don't feel like I'm doing school all day long and I'm doing YouTube all day long and that really helps me. So somebody asked, do you have any tattoos or do you plan on getting any? I do not have any tattoos and I do not plan on getting any tattoos. I just could not imagine in myself like choosing something permanently on my body because I'm so indecisive you know like I don't have anything against them necessarily I just don't really prefer them just because I don't want anything permanently on my body so somebody asked what is your favorite worship song so I have a lot of favorite worship songs right now I think I'm going to do a like my current worship playlist so my favorite favorite one right now is graves into gardens by elevation worship it just came out it is such a jam i love elevation i just really love a lot of christian worship type music that's generally what i prefer to listen to not because i think it's the only thing i can listen to but just because i find that's what i want most of the time um but this song is like a jammer like you better be ready to jump up and down it's so good so definitely check it out so another question I got a lot was how I edit my Instagram photos and I actually have a video on that that I did a long time ago. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. I use sometimes those presets, but not always. I've got a ton of presets that I use. So if you guys want me to do an updated version of that video, let me know down below because I definitely have like changed it up. You can tell just if you go watch that video, it's a little different, but they're still similar and that will give you an idea of what I do. I still use Lightroom. I still use all of those things. So if you were wondering, I do use Lightroom. I have a subscription, like I have bought presets. So if you guys want, I can do an updated video. Just let me know down below. Okay. So that is it for today's q and I actually feel like it was pretty fairly short. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos coming up. I will be filming a ton during this 
this quarantine time. And I'm praying for you guys. I really hope that you guys are staying safe and being smart and just being concerned for others and being selfless in that process. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.